bees. <laughs> This is to a 628 Jerry Rooster for hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Have you wanted me? I said one day I would like to meet you. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Where's the bees going to? Rosedale. Rosedale, Mississippi. Going up to the Delta. Then the Delta. Gonna make some cotton honey? <laughs> yeah, if I can. <laughs> Soybeans, maybe? Soybeans. You know, it's not, it, it, it's not much cotton around me, uh, but a lot of soybeans this year. Mostly where it is is soybeans this year. There she go. Right there. Got her on camera. Beautiful for me. Yeah. Look, that's what I'm telling you. If uh, if I can't go into them without getting without getting tore up and stung, yeah. I got no use for them. I would, I, yeah. I put that. I put that empty frame in the middle. That way, it gives you a little more room. So if the frames move around, uh, riding down the road, yeah. that uh, you don't, uh, the queen don't get mashed. Right. Are they drawing any wax out on that one? Look at the other side. Yeah. <laughs> that was brand new frames at eight o'clock yeah. this morning. It's uh, it's noon and they've already started drawing out on. Them. I look to me like they. Box. You might could go ahead and move them up. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't leave them in a five frame very long. Yeah. Do uh, yeah, just shake them in the box there. Yep. Yeah. Most of these coming in is going in that hive there. Yeah. All these flying around. One little piece of duct tape, close it off. Here to do a cutout, but first I gotta stop at the post office and pick up a breeder queen, a VHS queen, not the Betamax or the Blu-ray. <laughs> it's a VSH queen. She's a day late, she was supposed to be here yesterday. Post office screwed up. Let's see if she's here. Got her. Let's get this truck cranked up. Get some air going. So we can talk about it for a minute. She was supposed to have been here yesterday and uh, somehow got held up. The post office called me this morning about 9, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, I guess. Told me she was here and to come get her. So she's uh thought she was hot glued. Oh she is. Hot glued to a piece of cardboard. She looks to be doing well and in good spirits. <laughs> All of her attendants are still alive. She's marked, lab mated, and I'm headed right now to put her in a hive before I go do another hive removal. For right now, I'm just gonna bank her until later this evening or tomorrow. Then I'll put her in her permanent home. See if I can get a good view of her. They're working on that little candy plug. You can see the uh, attendant in there chewing on the sugar. There was a little bit of dry sugar in the pack too that they had chewed out or had fallen out something. There she is with her little red dot. I'll give you an actual picture of her before I release her into her permanent home. But this fine young lady comes from a breeder up in Washington State, Port Angeles, and uh, really kind of testing her out down here for what she'll do with 
hive beetles, small hive beetles, because I don't think they have much of a problem with them up there, and small hive beetles are probably one of the biggest problems we have as far as pests goes down here in the deep south. We'll see how she does, and uh, I'll keep you up to date. I don't know, change of plans. Went to do the cutout. The bees heard we were coming and left. So, kind of a dry run. It's, a, it's an apartment complex with three hives in it. We've already removed one. They're residing buildings and removing hives as they go. So we've removed one. Today we just scared off the other one and we got one more to go that's been in there for two, what was it, two years, man? This man said two years. Now we're going to Lowe's for some tools. Gotta get my own bore scope. My brother's got one. I've used his a time or two, but I need one now and we're gonna go check um, a ceiling storage closet ceiling at another apartment complex that's got a hive that's been in there for a long time maintenance man on that property said he's been there 12 years and there was a hive in there when he started so you know of course it's uh, different genetics through the years hives die off do swarms come in take over but for 12 years now there's been some activity or a live colony in that uh, apartment storage room so right now we're going to buy a bore scope Go poke a hole in the ceiling because I've already been out there with the flare. Can't find anything with the flare. We're just gonna go do some fishing before we start cutting a bunch of stuff. We could spend some money in Lowe's. <laughs> I my money, I love spending. Ah uh, man, you didn't bring a checkbook? No. I de alarmed it. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's introduction time for my queen here. Right now, I got a nuke that I sold a queen out of yesterday and sold a frame of, uh, frame of brood out of it the day before. It's queenless. You can see how gentle it is. I haven't smoked them. I mean, this is a gentle stock of bees. Doesn't get better than this. I'm over here with no suit, no protection. Got this queen in here. You can see her crawling around with her mark on. I'm gonna put her under a press end cage on one of these brood frames. I gotta pull one out and see which one I can use. I do have my smoker running. Regardless of how gentle they are, you never know. Better safe than sorry. Look at that numbers of bees in this box they're already starting to backfill some of these frames with honey but they do have some there's a few polished cells right in here mixed in with this worker brood so i'm gonna probably cage over that i'll look at this side first uh, yesterday the queen was removed they're, they've already built queen cells once I get this queen introduced in here, they'll take care of all that business. So that's a potential candidate for her to ride on that frame. I'm gonna look at both of these others too, see what they look like. This right here, also a good one. Right in the middle, they got a lot of, of uh, pollen Polished cells. I think I'm gonna use this one instead. Also, a queen was a queen cell. I just tore it up. I look at the numbers of bees in this little nuke. It was a four frame. It's it's uh, three frames now. They smell her, but there's no negative reaction. They're not running up, being defensive. I think they would accept her readily but because of what she is, I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm gonna put her under a press-in cage and give them some time to get used to the idea of her, give her time to get laying. This is a press-in cage. It's number eight hardware cloth. Put a little pressure on them and they'll get out of the way. I just wanna clear the area that I'm gonna use. Press this in, get, a, get it started. I'll put her under here, press it back in. And then an empty frame is going to go up to next to this. There's, so there's three brood frames in this box. And there'll be one empty frame up next to this just because of the space it needs. It's kind of hard to, to see right here. I don't know. It's not that hard to see. See all the pollen there? 
sometimes if you don't press these cages in deep enough, the bees will route, will, will dig under the cage. So you have to be careful of that because it doesn't take up a heck of a long time to get into a cage if you ain't pressed it in right. Basically what I do is wiggle it back and forth until the, the uh, cage sawed all the way through to the plastic foundation. This is on plastic. I'm all the way buried deep. Now I pull it off, I put her in it, stick it in the hive, which is already a good strong nuke. Stick it in with another frame or two if I can fit them, because these are drawn out pretty heavy. They're starting to check her out right now. They notice there's a queen there. I'm being really extra careful not to lose or damage this one. This is 100% VSH lab mated uh, breeder queen. I don't want a chance losing her, mm -hmm. crushing her, having her walk out of the cage and immediately go airborne and I would crap my pants right here in the bee yard. Put the whole thing in the cage, let her walk out. As soon as she walks out, I'll remove, the, uh, remove that queen cage and let her roam around. She's already got workers coming out get a little something to eat looks like she's not in a hurry to come out that's for sure she's been in there walking around for five minutes there she is there we go She's in there. And I decided to put a brood frame up next to her, which is ideal. So that they'll, the nurses are tender. <coughs> My smoker's getting me. And then I'll just put this empty frame. They're starting to draw it a little bit. Put this empty frame on the outside. Wasn't any brood on the frame I put her on. Just piling on that side anyway so i want some nurse bees on her they're they're not uh being aggressive towards her at all but i'm not taking any chances with this one that was a near fatal incident <laughs> as soon as i as soon as i lifted the edge of that cage up that press in to reach in and grab that little queen cage she's fast she flew out of there. I don't mean she ran or walked. She was in the middle of that cage and she went airborne and shot out in the space where my fingers were. And I panicked. Um, you won't see it on video there because I kind of held it together, but <laughs> I just, you know, experience is a, is a really good thing because I knew stand back. If she's airborne, she'll land right back here probably. And she did. She landed right beside the cage. I moved the cage down about a, uh, or moved it over or something, about a half an inch or an inch, and, and caught her again and got her <laughs> under it. But oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, it's like going to propose to your wife and dropping the ring down a sewer grate or something. It's like ah, oh my gosh, that was it. She's <laughs> she's in there safe and sound, unharmed, and running her making laps around that cage like she's in a prison yard jogging. Whew. Camera's probably shaking right now, ain't it? <laughs>